Hello TEM enthusiasts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load the Joel Double Tilt Beryllium Sample Holder. I've set up the holder on the bench here. We'll start by removing the top cover. Unclip the clasp and place it to the side. Time for some gloves. Got to make sure to keep my greasy mints from touching anything going inside the vacuum. Lift the holder out of the cradle and place the tip support piece in place. Orient it as you see here. Place the sample holder clamp in place and use these two angle marks to position the clamp. Use the thumb screw to secure this in place, but not too tight. We'll need to reposition it later. Remove the tip cover by twisting and pulling. Gently rest the holder in the cradle. Place the heavy side with the handle first. The assembly is very delicate and extremely expensive to repair. Trust me, I've broken one before, but that's a story for another time. Then lower the tip into place. Just the angle of the tip support piece is needed. Tighten the clamp, then position the clamp so the sample area sits directly on top of the cylinder on the tip support piece. Then tighten the thumb screw, securing the clamp in place. To load our sample on the my sample, some fine tipped sample tweezers and a flathead driver. We'll place them on a fresh lint free tissue. Start by loosening these two screws. Two full turns for each. Don't, I repeat, don't push down too hard. This is one way to break a holder. We'll move a bit closer now. Use your tweezers to lift these two copper parts to the side. With that done, you can use this recess to get your tweezers under the beryllium eared washer. Whoops, almost lost it. Fuel, got it. Place it on the lint free tissue. Grab your sample with your tweezers. Today, I'm loading a half circle fib grid. Place it in the exposed recess and use the tweezers to nudge it into place. We're going to use an additional beryllium washer on top of the sample to make sure it's firmly clamped in place. Then the eared beryllium piece goes on top of that. Again, just nudge it into place. Push the copper pieces back into place. Notice the slot in these pieces. That should sit over the pins on either side. Gently tighten the screws, and when I say gently, I mean it. Don't press hard. Like I said, easy way to break a holder. To check everything is secure, take the holder out of the cradle. Loosen the clamp first, then lift the tip out of the cradle. A quick test involves inverting the holder. If everything is done right, nothing falls out. To double check, you can use the back end of your tweezers to tap gently on the holder shaft up here. 